This morning I'm standing at what used to be the bottom of Tiervotish Kluiv Dam. As you can see, the drought has stripped the dam, leaving behind it a barren area filled with tree stumps and sand. And this morning, the Water and Sanitation Minister, Nombulo Mokanyane, she decided to visit the area for herself to assess the situation. She met up with a couple of engineers here and they are continuously developing solutions, not only to address the problem in the short term, but also to ensure that we have long-term solutions to the water problem in the Western Cape. What do we we have been engaging on is to find solutions for the short to medium that can also survive uh, going into the long term. Various options are being considered. As we speak now, we, we will be in a position to provide uh, some certainty for the coming period of uh, 10 weeks. But within that particular 10 weeks, we wouldn't want to reach a lifeline where we now say we've reached a, a, a hopeless state. One of the solutions the engineers will be looking at is to find a way to allow the water from the left side on the dam wall to flow through to the right side to reach the main outlet to the city of Cape Town. So what we're going to do is uh, a little downstream of the, uh, uh, of, of the old uh, um, riverbed, we're going to create a diversion weir and then build a canal on the uh, left bank uh, to divert the water from the main body of the uh, dam into the channel to be able to feed the water into the tunnel. Uh, that work uh, will start uh, within the next week or so. It'll take us uh, three to four weeks to complete um, and uh, that, that would be well in time for what we project we would get to the 10% uh, level of the dam.